channel so today I'm back for a quick beauty haul for you guys and I haven't done a beauty haul in forever so I think it's time for me to do one and it's not like a big haul but I've got some like exciting things so if you want to know what I got then just keep on watching I'm first going to mention three lip products that I got and that I'm super super excited about and um, I got two Jara Cosmetics Hydra Matte lipsticks liquid lipsticks and I got one um, LA Splash yeah LA Splash Lip Couture waterproof liquid lipstick and the one in this one let me talk about this one the one in this one is called Untamed and it's what I'm wearing today and I really want this makeup look around this lip color because I just wanted to just I just feel like all brownie and you know autumny and even though it's starting to be summer but I just wanted to make a makeup look around this lip color because just, I'm just literally obsessed with it. Um, so this is called Untamed and it comes in a little like tube as like most liquid lipsticks. And I don't really like the brush to be honest. I think it should there should be a better brush. And because it's a dark lip color, it can be hard to do your edges. But I've always always wanted to try LA Splash because apparently they're so hard to get off. I haven't tried to get get off yet, but. It's super matte and very, very pigmented, and it didn't apply it patchy whatsoever. So, um, I know with some like darker lip colors, they can apply it patchy sometimes, but with this one, it wasn't patchy at all. So, um, that was really good. And I got this off Beauty Bay for £11, I believe. But I'll leave links to all the products that I mentioned in this video in the info box. So, that's one liquid lipstick that I got. The other two are from Gerald Cosmetics. And I got these from Beauty Bay as well for 9 50 each, but they have an offer at the moment. I don't know if it's still on, but go check now if they do. But it was uh, on buy one get second half price, so I was like, oh my god, I need to get these, especially because they had the, uh, the newer shades. So the first shade that I got was 19.95. When I saw that they had it on the website, I was like, oh my god, I need to buy it. And then they happened to have one buy one get second half price. So I have I am obsessed with the lipstick, which is the 19.95, but they created a liquid lipstick and. As you all know, I have the liquid lipstick in Iced Mocha, which is a very morphe brown tone liquid lipstick. And I am obsessed with that liquid lipstick, but this one is like perfect because I'm obsessed with the shade 1995. I feel like it was to all skin tones. And because they're so comfortable to wear, I don't mind spending money on these because I know that I will be wearing them so often because they literally don't chip, chip off or like flake off. They don't feel very drying and they're very pigmented and they're just seriously one of the best liquid lipsticks I've tried so far. I know a lot of people rave about Anastasia but I haven't gotten the chance to try Anastasia yet, Anastasia lipsticks yet because they don't really stock them on the, in the UK apart from Depop but I, I, they are quite pricey so I haven't gotten around to try those yet but these ones so far are like my fave so yeah. Um, I'll do a quick swatch with you for you. I'm really crap about swatches. I mean, that's like so pretty. Oh my god. And these smell so yum. Oh my god. The LA Splash one smells like Fanta, I believe. I don't know. It kept reminding me of Fanta, but this one smells like sweets, literally. It just smells so yummy. So yeah, obsessed with this and I can't wait to wear it. I haven't tried it on yet. And then the second shade I got is Cher. And I've been wanting to get this shade for so long, but because it was on buy one get second half price, I was like, okay, I'm going to get these two. Um, this one is more of a pinky one, I believe. Uh, let me swatch it. It's a bit lighter than 1995. So that's what that's um, that one is Cher. The top one is 1995. They're both very wearable shades, and I love them both. And I'm obsessed, and I can't wait to wear them. And seriously, I just love them. And this is how they look like on my skin tone. I feel like these would look amazing on anyone and trust me the quality of these are amazing it just glides on the lip and it doesn't feel dry whatsoever it doesn't take off and I just can't read enough about these so yeah I also got like a few nail polishes because I'm I'm very obsessed with nail polishes even though I try to like do my nails as much as possible because I really can't stand the chipped nail polish but I'm so so lazy so you guys don't know how many times I've been on the bus and I look at my nails and I'm like oh my god my nails look so ugly and I don't really like to get uh, acrylics because I feel like they're super damaging even though they look amazing but I just feel like they look really damaging and my nails are long naturally so I feel like I don't really need them but the first one that I got is by Barry M it's in it's called Prickly Pear 
and it's the jelly nail paint high shine nail paint and this is what the shade looks like it's super like it's like a light lilac -y color lilac is my favorite shade by the way like i love all pastel pastel shades i also grabbed a rimmel 60 seconds nail polish this is a more khaki pastel color again another pastel color i just love those and then i got a maybelline superstay gel nail color which i've actually got on now this is the one i'm wearing now and um, this is in flesh tone i um, i showed you guys this on my snapchat because i'm literally obsessed with the shade um oh and the rimmel one is called sage all the rage 220 so yeah, those are three nail polishes that I grabbed. I just feel like those shades will be so pretty for summer, so I'm really excited to wear them and I'm obsessed with this like pinky one. I also grabbed another lip lip product and this was very pricey and it kind of broke my heart when I bought it. But it's not really with the shade that I wanted, but they went out of stock so fast that I wasn't able to get like the shade that I wanted and I wanted Trendsetter. But I got the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Cheerleader and this is just like a deep red, I believe. And I swatched it, it's like so creamy and pigmented, it's like insane, like the quality of it is just crazy, it just glides on your hand. So that's what it looks like, and it was £16, oh my god, I just paid £16 for lip liner, it's very pricey. I feel like I've been wanting to try Huda Beauty products for so long, but... I just feel like they're so pricey but I'll get around to it and try to save up to buy like all these high-end stuff but yeah I'm happy I got this I haven't tried it on but make sure to follow me on Instagram if you haven't yet already and um, you'll be able to see some looks that I post on there and I write down like what I'm wearing and stuff so um, my username is Anushka so yeah that's another lippy that I got the next thing that I got is a foundation and I grabbed the Milani Conceal Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in the shade Tan. I will be doing a first impression review on this. So many of you requested for a foundation review on this foundation so I'm glad I got it. You can get it on eBay if you do want to get it, like if you've been wanting to get it. They, I couldn't find it anywhere but then I saw the seller selling it on eBay and I will leave a link in the info box if you guys are interested. But I'm really excited to try this. I also bought these lashes off eBay and they're mink lashes but obviously I think they're fake mink lashes, I don't know. One's from Top Lash, I'll link it in the info box but these are in, there's not even a number but just, they remind me of Huda Beauty lashes in Lana so they're very like, like very wispy and they look good quality. I don't know, I'm just excited to try it. You'll probably see me use it in a tutorial sometime. And then I got this one. I don't know, it's all in Chinese, but this one looks so, so pretty. It's just like thicker on the outer outer corner and they look like mink lashes. There's not, they're not as long as I would like them to be, but we'll see when I try them on. But those are like two lashes I got. I also picked up um, Red Cherry Lashes and Stevie, which are my favorite cheap lashes, but they're upset and I can't be bothered to get them right now. And then I have two last items that I want to talk about and they're actually for skincare. So the thing that I've been using lately is this Dermal Roller. So it says on it, it's a ageless skincare, ageless skincare medical therapy versatile treatment. So it, it's, this is what it comes in and I bought it off Amazon and I've been tr wanting to try this for a while. Huda Beauty is one person that I know that uses this like thing, this technique a lot. So this is what it looks like and it's basically a roller and it has needles on it. So it's like a roller and you literally roll it on any scars or imperfections that you have. But scars, not like, like proper like spots. I don't know if you can put it on spots but I basically have scars here and there so what I do is I roll it says to roll 10 times around 10 times up and down not like horizontally so you want to go like that and like that it doesn't really hurt to be honest you can feel a bit of tingling like a tingling feel, feeling after using it but what it does is it, it the tiny needles go into like the first layers of your skin i think it's the the epidermis layer i don't know 
but it creates little tiny holes in your um, skin and it just kind of forces your skin to renew itself so wherever you have scars it kind of gets rid of that over time now I just started using it for like the past three days so I will let you know if I what I think about it and probably make a video about it but I've just been wanting to see if it actually works and if it helps the skin so maybe like I know there's a lot of girls out there women out there that have scars from acne and stuff and this might be something that you might want to look into but I'm just going to see how it works out, It'll probably be a month or two months, I really want to make an in-depth review about it and see if it actually works. So this is what I got, it was around I think £10 on Amazon so it's not expensive but it's stainless steel so it won't, won't get rusty and it feels very very sturdy and good quality so I'm happy that I got this one. And if you guys are wondering, this is if you guys really use something like this, I got the one in TS10 which is 1.0 millimeters. So the needles are 1.0 millimeters, but yeah. And then the last and final thing that I got is bio oil. You guys don't even know how long I've been wanting to try bio oil, but I got the big one straight up. It was £10 on Amazon, which is a n not bad at all. And it's 200 ml. I've heard so many people rave about this and people that use this on their skin have such clear skin. So I've been wanting to try this. I've been wearing it on my face and I just put it on my face. I just love oily stuff anyway. So I've been using this on my face. I just want to see if it evens up my skin tone and does anything good so we'll see over time and i also been using it on my bigger stretch marks on my bum and like arms and everywhere so we'll see if it's helping or not and yeah so I got this and I'm really excited when I got it I was like oh my god you guys don't even know how long I've been wanting to try a bio oil and I finally got it so that's all I got for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like hauls from me, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know that you would like to see a like more haul videos and I'll try my best to do them, especially like Primark hauls. I haven't done a Primark haul in forever. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. Also, thank you to all of you that entered the giveaway. It seriously means so, so much and all your sweet comments mean so much to me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me. And I think that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys all so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.